I remember as a kid that sense of wonder, wanting to know why, try to make new connections that no one's been able to make, just seeing science happen, feeling science happen. So I was hooked. I knew I was going to do something around science. That's what I was going to do. But at that early stage, I remember being in kindergarten and um, talking to my teacher about how I was so excited about that. And I mean, she essentially laughed and said that that wasn't something that I was going to do. It was a very tough experience. I'm Namanjay Bumpus. I'm the chief scientist of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. I was born in Philadelphia because my dad was a professional boxer, so he had been from Boston, and Joe Frazier saw him fight and moved him to Philadelphia to box in his gym. So I was born into that world, the boxing world. Every step of my career, people have always told me I'd never get to the next. I mean, I remember scenarios where, you know, I would go somewhere and give my name, I'm, you know, Namandre Bumpus, and have the person look and say, but it says PhD. And I'd say, yeah, that's me. And they don't believe it. And I think that for me, you know, early on, it certainly could have made an impact where I said, this is not what I'm going to do. Something that goes back to when I was stuck about the boxing gym and, you know, integrity, meaning confronting someone and responding to their confrontation. I made a promise to myself a long time ago that when people make statements, comments like that, I speak up. I have to. So I spoke up because I thought it's important for the people coming behind me that I, you know, fought that battle. And so I always tell my students that I think that's one of the most important things about moving forward in a career like science. It's hard for anybody, but particularly if you're coming from a background that's, you know, underrepresented in this field and historically marginalized, that you just cannot internalize other people's views of what you can and cannot do. In my career, almost everything I've done, I've been a first. First to graduate from college in my family. Being the first black woman to chair a department at Johns Hopkins Medicine, and now I'm the FDA chief scientist. So, you know, being that first, there's pride that comes with it. There's a lot of responsibility. You know, sometimes I feel like my head hurts from breaking so many glass ceilings. So now being at FDA, I'm always looking at opportunities to nominate folks for things opportunities to bring someone into a project that my office is working on and give people visibility. I feel like the success is not being the first, the success will be that I'm not the last. So that common thread is really um, developing the careers of others. Like that, I think, is my life's work, that I could be more excited about other people's success than I, even my own. And that's something that I really love, it was great.